Hello everyone, this video is my Little Nightmares All Collectibles Guide. In this video I'm going to show you how to get all of the gnomes, all of the statues and all of the lights. The achievements or trophies this will help you with are Little Lost Things, which is the achievement for getting all of the gnomes, the description for that is Kindness Will Be Your Undoing, Rascal, which is the achievement for getting all the statues, the description for that is Little Vandal, Little Beast, The More Will Punish You At The Feast, and Light Up Your Life, that is the achievement for getting all of the lights. You only have to get 13 of those rather than all of them, the description for that one is not all lights can be trusted, but these should be quite safe. I'll also show you how to get a few of the secret achievements, such as Kitchen Hand, the uh, description for that is the recipe is complete, the feast will be divine. Highly Sprung, which is an achievement for jumping on a bed, the description for that one is you jump even higher if you knew what slept there, and also Six's Song, so many keys yet none to unlock your cage. Right, so I'll show you how to do all of those. Sorry for taking a little bit longer with the introduction, but the descriptions for these achievements or trophies don't actually describe what you've got to do. It's kind of a mystery. Um, you've kind of got to figure out what each one means on your own. I'll also be doing a guide for Heart to the Core, which is beating the game in under an hour without any deaths. If any of you are looking for that, I'll put that in the description. I should have that up within the next couple of days. And I'll also be doing some guides for the DLC as well. Little Nightmares 2 is right around the corner, so I'll probably be doing some guides for that as well. Look out for those coming soon. Thank you all for children into the video. Let's get this going. Okay, so first collectible we can find is a light. It's in the very first area of the game. Once you gain control of six, you want to head over here to the right. You might want to flick on your lighter so you can see because it's very dark around here. Just keep moving to the right and the light is just before the hatch that you have to go through to continue. Next up we've got the first statue. When you reach these big set of stairs, head all the way up them and just past these boxes here you can find the statue sitting in this sort of tight little alleyway. Pick it up, throw it to smash it to get the collectible done. First of ten. Right, so next up is the highly sprung achievement. You can do this in a few different places, but once you reach this area where you've got to jump on the bed and climb through the vent, if you just continuously jump on the bed, eventually your achievement should pop. I think you've got to do it like six times, but just keep jumping until your achievement pops. Next up, we've got a light and a gnome. This is the second light and the first gnome. When you reach this area where you have to open the fridge and use it as a ladder to climb up, a gnome will run away from you when you open the fridge and then head over here to the right and through the crack in the wall to go into the vent and the light is there and the gnome as well pick that little guy up give him a squeeze to make sure that collectible counts next up we've got light number three and when you reach this point just after the leeches you'll have to pull this switch and the light is just close to the screen over here you only have to light 13 lights, but I think I found 24 or so. After the next area with the leeches, when you push down the door and jump this gap, you can find another light right here. That's light number four. Took me a minute to light this one. Kind of a weird angle. There we go. And moving on. Light number five. Once you reach this area where you've got to climb up the chain of blankets and through the vent hole in the wall you can find a light on the other side of the vent in the back corner over here next to the sink five lights down All right light number six when you reach this area where you've got to avoid the eye that turns you to stone jump up on the boxes this is along the main path the light is just on top of this box right here so we've got another light and the second gnome. This is the seventh light already. So I'm going to come up here. And once you reach the top of these boxes that you can climb, head over to your right and drop down over here. And then you can see the gnome run away. Drop down again. And you're going to follow the gnome through the crate. And there's the gnome. Give him a squeeze. And the light is right there. sorted. So we've also got a statue in this area. We're going to head out of where we just got the light and the gnome and we need to climb up these boxes. This is the main path anyway so 
if you want to continue along the main path, you'd go right here, but we're going to go left to go and get the statue. All the way up. Follow the path around to the left here. Keep going. If you want Six to move a little faster, you can jump. That tends to make her move a bit faster. And the statue is in the corner of this room, closest to the screen. Pick that up and chuck it. To get that collectible to count, that's two out of ten. Okay, so light number eight, when you reach this area where you've got to climb up and turn off this electrified gate, you will have to jump up these boxes and climb up. So let's get climbing. All the way up. There's a light up here. Before you continue, you can see it there, just next to the jump you've got to make. Right there. Easy. Okay, so we've got another light and a gnome here. This is the third gnome and the ninth light. Once you've messed with these filing cabinets so that you can jump and pull the switch to turn off the electricity to the gate. We were just there a moment ago. Squeeze through the gate here and over on the far left side, before you push this box down, you can find a light. And there's also a gnome in a cage. And I was struggling to open this, but you just need to approach the cage on the right side so that you can open it. And then he's going to run off to the right. We're going to follow him. Head through the gate. And there he is. Give him a squeeze. Three gnomes down, ten to go. Sorted. Okay, so light number ten and gnome number four then. When you come up these stairs and into this area where you've got to pull the chair onto the square in the floor. I don't actually think you have to come into this room. You can completely miss this, but the light is on the desk right there. Give that a light. And you've got to pull the chair onto this panel on the tile. So that it will open the door. Or the back of this closet or whatever it is. Pull open the door. Hop on in. And the gnome's in here now. Run around the back of this area with the switch and he'll run away from you. And you'll see him run back out the way we just came. Keep following him. And he should now be in the corner of this area. Actually, I know. I think yeah, he runs out of the door here. You have to run back out. And here he is. He runs up the stairs and you can get him in the back corner of this area. Kind of a long chase with this little guy. He should stop over here on the far left side. You can give him a squeeze. Let's flick on the lighter so you can see quickly. There we go. Okay, so just after we've got that gnome, you'll reach this area where you've got to pull a switch and climb up the bed and the shelves. Pull the suitcase over here. Hop up on it to pull the switch. And... Then we're going to jump on the bed and climb up the shelf. All the way up. Okay. So once you reach the top, hop up onto the next shelf, jump the gap. And then you need to jump up onto the shelf to your left. And the statue is just here. I picked up some TP by accident, but there we go. Just chuck it off the shelf to get that counted. Sorted. Four statues, no, three statues down. So once you have done the elevator with the long-armed janitor, you'll come down here and Six will start getting hungry. Let's keep on going. Once you reach just past this pipe, there's a light right here. Like I mentioned before, you only need to get 13 lights to get your achievement. I managed to find 24. A lot of the guides that I found um, didn't include as many lights as mine you don't need to get all of these like I said but it doesn't hurt right but there's the light just after the pipe you should get your achievement or trophy once you get 13 lights so once you escape from the cage after being trapped by the long arm janitor come over here to your left and squeeze through the door and there's another light right here it's light number 12 all right so you have to use the cage to jump up to that switch to make it through this door just after that and if you climb up to the top you can find another light which is a candle right here 
That's light number 13. So, once you've escaped the long arm janitor and used the crank to get down this shaft, you're going to have to climb through the vent. And when you drop down here, there's another light right here. That's light number 14, and we can also get another gnome in this area. So let's climb up this ladder here. This is very easy to miss because you can't really see that ladder too well. And you can see the gnome sitting there. We need to shimmy across and climb up. He'll run away when we get close. Let's give him a follow. Drop down here and give him a squeeze. That's five gnomes down. All right. So once you reach this area where you've got to push this box out of the way so that you can fall through the floor. Down here you can find a statue tucked away. It can be kind of confusing sometimes because these gnomes tend to run away from you and it can make you think that you've got to collect one in this area but you don't have to collect that guy. So at the back here is where you can find the statue, pick that up, give it a chuck uh, to get that one counted. So once you get past the area with the clocks and the long arm janitor and you come into this room with all of the books, you can find the sixth gnome. You have to get him to run out by going underneath this bookcase right here and he'll run to the back of this room next to this stack of books. Uh, you can sort of see him there. Pick him up, give him a squeeze. And that's gnome number six. Seven more to go. So light number 15 can also be obtained in this area. We're going to jump up the shelf, up the bookcase, all the way up to the top. Keep going, and you can see the candle there in the back corner. Just light that guy up. So, right here you can get another secret achievement, which is Six's Song. You need to jump on the piano keys and just run backwards and forwards on them a few times. And your achievement should pop. Just keep running backwards and forwards. And that should pop for you. Sorted. Okay. So next up we've got light number 16. You can also get another light in this area, but we'll get it in a moment. Once you reach this room where you've got to climb the bookshelf to avoid the janitor, jump up here, and then as you go to head left, you'll want to carry on to continue along the main path. But if you jump up here to your right and squeeze through, you can see the candle right here, and that's light number 16. So shortly after this, you'll come to this room where you've got to get the crank and set off the TV to get the janitor's attention. So drop the crank by the door, press the button, run back over and pick up the crank. And we'll just wait here. Eventually he's going to come through the door. Make sure you're ready to sneak, so make sure you're crouched here. And when he comes in, just sneak out of the door and he shouldn't hear you because he's distracted by the TV and we're going to go underneath this um, table here underneath the bookshelf and I already had this light lit I tried to find the easiest way to get this light so I'd already lit it but if you just drop the crank whack out your light you can light that candle and that's the light right there number 17 okay so shortly after that you'll reach this series of vents and when you come along here the light is right there this is just before the janitor tries to reach you through the crack in the wall and that's light number 18 so shortly after that after you've dealt with the janitor you'll reach this point where you've got to push over this um, lid to use it as a ramp if you come down here you can find a secret vent underneath that other lid drop down here and you can find statue number five hidden away in this secret room pick it up throw it down that's statue number five, half of the statues got gotten. So, this achievement can be kind of tricky. This is the kitchen hand achievement. You've got to throw a few items into the kitchen pot. And in that room we were just in, you can find a carrot. You want to pick up that carrot and make sure you sneak all the way here behind the chef. And when you reach the stairs about here or so, you can start running. So, get moving. Run, run, run. Go around the table the same way I did. Come over to the pot and chuck the carrot in. And the chef will see you at this point. And you want to run back this way and duck under this table right here. When you come under this table, 
he'll just sort of look around and won't, won't look under it for you. If you go to the big table on your right, he'll sort of continuously look under the table for you. It seems like if you crouch under this table, even if he sees you run under there, he'll leave you alone after a few seconds. You kind of need a little bit of patience for this one, because um, we've got to throw three items into the pot back there. There's another one underneath the table, which is this fish head. So we're going to grab that and hope he doesn't see us here. If he sees you here, just run back under that same table. You should be fine. But if you uh, wait here, just on the edge of the table, he'll sort of salt up this fish. And when he's done, he'll go to put the salt back and that'll give you an opportunity to chuck the fish into the pot. Just make sure you stay behind the table. Chuck the fish in, he's going to see you now. Run back to that table we were hiding under before, right here. Just wait for a second for him to leave you alone. This might take you a, a, a couple of um, attempts, but if you do get caught, you just sort of spawn at the start of the kitchen again, so you can try it again and again. So, when he walks away, let's come over here. And we need to jump on top of these boxes, because there's a slice of cheese that we need to get down and you haven't really got the time to um, get it in the pot right away. Let's just chuck it down for now. Lure him over to the right side of the boxes and then go under the table again. If he comes to the left side, if you just drop off the right side of those boxes, he'll run around and when he does that, jump back on the boxes and just come over here and hide under the table. Give him a few seconds and then he'll leave you alone. And uh, now that that's done, pick up the cheese Bring it over to the pot, chuck it in. And there you go, that should get you your achievement. If you get caught here, you can just go back to the beginning of the kitchen and try again. But I looped around, went under the table and then over to our trusty little hiding place. And that'll give you enough time to continue along with the main story if you want to. So when you reach this area with the chef that's sleeping in the bed, you need to hop up right here and grab the key and when you swing back and forward the key's going to drop and make noise so make sure you're ready to slide under the bed really quick the chef will wake up and turn on his light wait for him to leave this will take a couple of seconds All right now he's buggered off we need to come out and grab that key to continue along the main path. This isn't really part of the collectible, but you're going to want to do it just to make this section take you a little bit less time. I like to just leave the key by the elevator over here because that's what we've got to use in a second. So just chuck the key up there. We'll come back for that when we want to continue along the main path. So we're going to go back to the room that we came from, which is this toilet. And in here now you can find the gnome chilling in the corner. He's actually hiding under the, under the bed when the chef wakes up and he runs away from him. And he runs back to this toilet. When you've hugged the gnome, jump up here and light the candle. And that counts as light number 19. So that's light number 19 and gnome number 7. Nice and easy. So just after that, when you use the elevator, you're going to get the key to come and open the door in the kitchen. Before you do that, though, head over to your left. And you can find another gnome in this jar. You'll need to smash open the jar so that you can get him out and give him a hug. There we go. He's only there when you come back down with the key, so be sure to check for him. You might want to slide under the shelf as well, because the chef's going to come over and investigate if he hears you smash the uh, the jar. And you can wait for him to leave so that you can carry on. So just after you open the door with that key, you're going to come to this room where you've got to put the meat into the grinder down below you. And if you come over here to the right and hop through this hole in the wall, you can find a statue and a light. That's light number 20. And the statues over here in the corner, pick that up, smash it to get that counted. That's six statues now, 20 lights. We're most of the way done now. So there is another gnome down below us, so we're going to hop up here, jump through the hole in the wall. You might want to get all the meat onto the trap door there that you've got to release so that you don't have to come back up here. But for the purpose of the guide, I didn't bother doing that just so I could show you where the gnome was. You don't have to do it to get the gnome. So come back down here and the gnome is underneath this table hiding away. It's kind of difficult to see. You might want to flick on your lighter, but yeah, he's right there in the back corner. And that's gnome number nine. Okay, so now that you've done that, you'll come down here. Uh, and when you get down here, 
the chef will follow you in the elevator and you'll have to follow him through when he opens this door for you. Hop up on the table wheel and you can climb up all of these buckets and boxes and you can see the candle on the shelf that I'm about to climb up to. That's the light. That's light number 21. Light that up. There we go. Easy. Okay, so statue number seven then. Once you escape from that chef, then you have to come through here and open up this, uh, I guess it's a, like a rubbish chute type deal. Open it up, hop on through, and fall down into the shaft, and statue number seven is over in the back corner here. Couldn't grab this first time. Some weird stuff was happening where I got knocked back, but eventually I managed to pick it up. There we go. Sorted. Seven statues down then. So when you begin this chapter, you'll end up hopping out of this hole in the ship. And you'll have to go right to continue along the main path. But if you come back to the left and through the crack in the wall, you can find gnome number 10 and light number 22 right here. Alright, so once you reach this area where every, all these people, quote-unquote people, are eating or inhaling meat, come over here and uh, move this chair out of the way of the crack in the wall. And you can find a light and a gnome in this secret sneaky room. This is gnome number 11. There he is. Give him a squeeze. And the light's right there too. Sorted. Okay. So, once you're escaping from this area, you're about to go and use the elevator. You'll have to run along this pipe. And the statue is sitting there on that shelf. I didn't get a chance to pick that one up. I kind of kicked it off. But that works, I guess. It still counts as getting the collectible. Next up, we've got another gnome and a light. Once you use the elevator to progress with the story, you'll have to go right to continue, but if you go left and squeeze through the door, you can find a gnome right here who's putting the uh, the guy's hand in water. I guess he's trying to make him pee himself or something. And you can find the light right here towards the screen. That's light number 24 and gnome number 12. So gnome number 13, then this is the last gnome. This is the, the one that six attacks near the end of the game. It's kind of savage. But that is Norm number 13. And that should get you the uh, all the gnomes achievement or trophy. So two more statues to get and we're done here. When you climb up this ladder and you see the mysterious geisha lady going into the elevator, we're going to come over here to the left and pick up the statue. Just give it a chuck. That's number nine. One more statue to get then. Once you sneak past the geisha lady in our bedroom, you're going to have to grab this key to go and unlock the door. When you smash that vase, she's going to disappear. And the last statue is on the table. She was standing out brushing her hair. Which is just here, so drop your key for a minute, hop up on the chair, hop up on the desk, and grab yourself that last collectibles. That's it, that's all the collectibles for Little Nightmares, all the statues, all the lights and candles, and all the gnomes. Hopefully that helped you out. Thank you very much for watching, let me know in that comment section if it did. I've also got a guide coming for the hard to the core achievement or trophy as well, which is beat the game in under an hour with no deaths. That should be linked around on screen or in the description somewhere for you now. I'll also try and get the DLC collectibles out for you guys as soon as possible. And uh, like Little Nightmares 2 is right around the corner, so I'm going to be doing some guides for that as well, more than likely. So look out for those. Thank you all very much for watching again. Have a great day. And until next time, take it easy.